against Owasso. Both of these teams are three and four, two and two in district. It ought to be an interesting game. Whoever wins tonight is going to have an advantage in district play. It's Deion J. Hampton with Deion TV. Let's go. It's 2.49 left to go in the first quarter. The score is 0-0, zero to zero, but better yet, this is where the party's at. Now I got my guy Tim with me right here. He's a Bixby fan, and I got my guy, his father-in-law, Jerry, right here next to me. Now they got all the snacks. He got the hamburger, and if you look down here, they got the Chick-fil-A sandwiches. They got the chips. But I got to ask you, Tim, what's up with the Diet Coke, man? You need diet. What's, what's, what's wrong with a regular Coke? I got the sugar out and the carbs so I can have a hot dog. It's a football game. It's a high school football game. It's important to have all the cards. You can tell I'm watching my girlish figure here. Is it good, though? That's what I want to know. I don't know. I'm ever being right now. I can't eat. <laughs> catches here tonight and uh, Bob was involved in a car accident about 16 years ago so he's paralyzed from the neck down. Now you have to tell me, who came up with the car horn idea? Just, just tell me where this came from. That's me. That's me. I can't yell very loud so I have to do something to make noise. Tell us a little bit more, more about your son. Uh, what grade is he in? And tell us a kind of a, what kind of a player that he is. If he's a deep route player or if he's, you know, quick or whatever you want to tell about your son. Yeah, well, he's a senior this year. Uh, had a, had a come up a great season last year, having a good season this year. Uh, usually plays safety and wide receiver. And uh, he's just loving the game. He's got a lot of got a lot of field speed. Uh, he's, he does pretty good. He catches, got good hands. Uh, does he catch a lot of touchdown passes? He uh, he has had two this year and okay, eight okay. last year. Okay. So, yeah. So far, you're two and two in conference, three and four overall, but you guys are winning right now. So tell us, what do you guys hope for the rest of the season? I'll start with you. Um, hopefully that we get a home regional game or district and go on and win. So yes, we will. Yeah! <laughs> so there's still support, there's still hope for the rest of the season. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. And Olivia, what do you think about the game so far? You um, I think that Owasso rocks and we're going to kill Bixby. Yeah. They're being down 23 to 0 at halftime. Bigsby is now trying to make a comeback. And at the end of the third quarter, the score is 14 to 30. Bigsby's making the game out of it. We got eight minutes and 41 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Tim, congratulations on the win tonight. Um, you had one of many tackles tonight. Take, take me back through the game. Uh, we just came out. We're gonna, we started, we, our plan was to start off real fast, you know, stick them at the beginning of the game, and our plan was to come out with uh, no score for them. And we did that through the first half, and that gave us a big boost, you know, coming out through the second quarter. So that's, I think that's how we came out with a win. Now, the defense played good tonight, but sometime in the second half, 
the Bixby Spartans started to creep back in the game. They scored a tough, couple of touchdowns in the third quarter and come the beginning of the fourth quarter like it was going to be a game. What were your thoughts then? Uh, I, I feel like we came out at halftime. We came out kind of slow. You know what I'm saying? Our coaches had to get in our face a little bit. And, you know, and we came out. Once they got in our face, you know, we stepped up to the plate and we shut it out. So you guys um, kind of struggled early in the season, but now you guys are 4-4, 3-2 in district. So what do you guys have to do now as far as continuing to win, as far as preparation goes to make the playoffs? I, I think we, as long as we stay healthy, everybody stay healthy, everybody stay eligible, then we'll be good because that's our team has been, been uh, bombarded with injuries. And I, now as long as we keep injury free, we'll be all right. It's Terry Jackson with the Owasso Rams. They won tonight 44-20 to here at Lee Snyder Field. Congratulations. Good luck on the rest of the season.